10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey! Will it actually let me play now? Hello everybody, it's Everaltable 4 for first impressions, this time for the game Abzu for the PlayStation 4. Uh, this is actually the first time I pre-ordered a game digitally and <laughs> watched the countdown, so it was an event for me. Usually I buy physical copies, but I don't know if this game has a physical copy. Also, I got a nice discount on the digital one through PSN, and it came with a theme, so all in all is a good deal. So yeah, this game is essentially Underwater Journey, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> oh, it can, really? What a surprise. It's not like I'm playing that right now. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Definitely sounds like Journey. So yeah, I've been hyped for this game for a very long time now. <laughs> Pretty much from the first moment I saw it, I was like, oh my god, this is the coolest looking game ever. And it was. Also, am I doing this on the right capture? I'm probably not, but who cares? Capturing it by Wii U standards according to my capture device, so hopefully it doesn't screw up things too much, but 1080 is 1080, right? Right. Right? Eh. Worst comes to worst, I'll just have to show you it again. Ugh. But yes, um, it combines really cool things. Like underwater, which I love the ocean in video games. It such, has such potential for beauty. And mystery and exploration, which is another thing I love, which is kind of why I'm really looking forward to No Man's Sky, which is coming out one week from today. <laughs> and yeah, this is just another game that starts off in the middle of nowhere! With her husband, you're still back! No. Press to dive. Oh, right trigger, okay. Um, I almost don't want to talk. Uh, first of all, the controls are really fluid. Um, left stick is like an up and down. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, right stick is camera. This is made by Giant Squid, but I think the team includes people from that game company. Uh, X is boost, so that's... That'd be nice. Okay, that's good. Hey fishies. <laughs> it's good. It's good school scripting. It's pretty much how a school of fish would react. Especially with like the swimming in circles and stuff. Uh, schools of fish stay like that because larger fish interpret that as a solid object and they would be intimidated. So, yeah. Except for the smarter, larger fish. But it seems like we should go this way. Ooh, wow. Hello. Larger, larger fish. Please don't eat me. <gasps> Goliath grouper. Oh, it gives me a name. Yeah, you see these graphics? The, these visuals? This is why... This is why I wanted to... Oh my god. <laughs> this is why I wanted to play this game. Oh, I have goosebumps. Okay. Can I ride the little fish? No. Uh, let's check out the middle area. So I guess there's probably some sort of story such as why the heck am I in the middle of the ocean? Can I act actually like, get out? No, of course not. Because this game is about the ocean. 
and being in the ocean and not going on land but yeah uh, I'm kind of glad that I don't seem to have some sort of breath meter because that would really really ruin things <laughs> uh, let's see so the square button is kind of like the all the square button in journey it sends out some sort of signal I scared away some sort of lobster hey <laughs> it's okay little guy come on come on come on Oh, and circle seems to... <laughs> I don't know, I do some sort of trick there. I don't know. Whee! Oh, let's check this out. Oh, so this is what I interact with. Trumpet fish. That's beautiful. So I let them out, I guess. Now they're going to be part of our environment too, huh? Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's do this. Who's with me, huh? Nobody? Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a thingy down there. Go to the thingy, Dovey. Go to the thingy. Some sort of radio or something? No. Let's fix it and see what it does. Oh, it's a little, uh... Scanny robot thingy. Oh, hi! If this was a Markiplier game, I would call it Bubble Butt, but this is not. Are you gonna follow me? Have to remember that there's a go button. Oh, beautiful. And yes. <laughs> How you guys doing? I was hoping it would, it would like scan the uh, the fish or something. I'll f have to figure out how that works. Uh, looks like there's another thing here to release fish from. Leopard shark. And it's real fish also. It's not some made up game fish. And that's cool because uh, for those of you who haven't been following me too long, uh, Dovey wanted to be a marine biologist as a kid. Like, some people, some kids want to grow up to be, you know, an astronaut, and some kids want to be a doctor or whatever. Dovey wanted to be a marine biologist, so this is like, a game like this is heaven for me. It really is. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, we did this one already, did we? No, we didn't. Hawksbill Sea Turtle! Oh, can we ride one, please? Please, 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 please let me ride a sea turtle game. I love you, game. Don't know where I'm going. I'll go with you. Okay, I'm gonna see you later, turtle. I'm gonna head towards that little shark statue we saw. The light seems to direct us towards certain areas, so... Uh, yeah, that's part of, I guess, the, uh... Exploration is gen gently guided that way, I guess, but... If I'm by myself, I'm gonna be playing this by myself. Press the touchpad to meditate. Switch this. Male California sheephead. Oh, that's the uh, the orange and red. Uh, the the red and black fish. I mean. That's so cool. We could just follow. We could just follow the fish around. You yeah, the Goliath grouper. 
Oh boy. Oh, this is so serene. You know, this was originally going to come out during a chemo week for me, and I was going to play it anyway, and this would have been perfect for that, but I'm glad it doesn't have to be that. Uh, sea bass. Oh, sea bass. Oh, apparently, we watched the sea bass just eat a small guy. So, oh no. <laughs> oh, this is starting to get violent. And we've, we've, we've started eating everything. We are going to be the best leopard shark out there. I wonder if we're controlling this or not. Or if we're just able to see through the eyes of other fish. But yeah, we're a predator now. This is reminding me of another game. This is, this is going to really, really date me. Uh, back uh, in the uh, the DOS days, uh, there was a game called Odell Down Under that uh, we had on floppy disk. Uh, that was essentially a fish simulator game, and you played as a fish, and you had to achieve goals and stuff by... Uh... Ooh, is that a doorway? Uh, let's Let's get up. Uh, you had to achieve goals by uh, essentially eating right. You know, figuring out what other fish or non-fish objects you can eat, depending on what kind of fish you were. Moving your way up through goals and stuff like that. And it was pretty interesting. And I loved it. I loved Odell Down Under, my god. Like the theme song. da 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 it was just the best thing. Oh, so this is where I found this guy. Okay, so we explored pretty pretty much the rest of the area already, I think. Hey guys, excuse me. I love how he mimics me. You see horses. Turn around, turn around, come on. <laughs> Get too wrapped up in looking around to control myself. Yeah, I see that. Don't worry, kid. Oh, it's another one! Yay! How you doing? Uh, let's see. These guys, uh, their names are Siegfried and Gustav right now. Uh, let's see if we can do anything with the door here. One of them can open it, I guess. Oh, he's uh, cutting away the uh, coral. I don't want to leave. Okay, let's go onward. Maybe we'll find a new ecosystem. I wish I was as fanatical about fish as uh, Lucogen. Oh, great white. As uh, Lucogen is with uh, World War II tanks, because then I could just be fangirling all over the place. If you don't know what I mean by that, Lucogen is currently doing a let's play of a, a tank dating simulator and it's the most glorious thing because she, she actually knows everything that there is about the tanks and like so she gets all the references and, and research and stuff. But anyway, that's, this isn't about tanks. <laughs> I just love that let's play. What do we get? Seem to have gotten some sort of spiral or nautilus shell. Do we have a start menu? We have a start menu. Okay, that's a very basic start menu. But then again, Journey didn't really have much to it either. I was hoping for other options, but then again, it's not like there's voice acting or anything that we can miss. Uh, anything else up here? No. Just a little bit of light shining through the, uh, the sea layer. Oh, look at the sand. We're kicking up the sand. How many games let you kick up sand? I'm gonna just let the music guide us for a minute over here. Oh, what happened here? Oh my gosh. This doesn't look healthy. Of course, the camera centered in on this ginormous thing, which hopefully we'll be able to activate or something with our power.
Oh. Oh my goodness. Are we like a sea spirit? <laughs> okay, so now we're just kind of floating in air. I guess we're in a Blitzball Stadium. That's got to be it. Let's let's go check this out. This actually gives me Wind Waker vibes. I don't know why. I guess it's just the large sea, but <sighs> like the the great fairy houses all had like a you know like the shell theme and stuff like that. Hello. Is this water like poisoned or something? Giving some sort of essence of purification or something to it, I think. I and mean, that's kind of what... Manta rays. I'm actually like, I'm shivering from, from wonder here. And it looks like we're purifying the water with our own This ocean within an ocean. It's kind of like in SpongeBob that has the that has the beach somehow. But that's actually a thing. There's actually water that's heavier than water, and underwater currents and things like that. And I am in heaven. Oh, you get right over here, sir. You're not gonna get away from me. Where? Are, where can, can, it, 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 Dobie. Camera, Dobie. No, 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 right there, right there, right down there, right there, there. Mine. Ah, Manta Ray. Not to be confused with the Man Ray. Ah, this was one of my favorite creatures as a child. I was just replaying Journey uh, that I have on my PS4 also like two or three days ago to prepare myself for like similar things. I don't know if it's blasphemous to say, I think I like this better. So far anyway. I haven't played the whole game yet so I can't say and I have played the whole Journey and that that's just a spectacular experience. But um, yeah, this is, this is something else. It's definitely... I, like, so different. Hey guys! So different from what I've played. Can I go down into the deeper water? No, not really. Okay. It doesn't feel like I'm in water now. It just feels like I'm in, you know, land. Air. Yeah. I'm in land. No, I'm in the air. I really hope that this game just holds up in general because like they they definitely put a lot into it. And I wish that I didn't have a monotone, but I'm recording this at midnight. <laughs> Jellyfish! Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Story time. So yeah, so they seem, I don't know, the hieroglyphs here are of people like me. And it's nice to see a lack of graves, like in Journey. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're holding up all sorts of stuff over there. And, like, the top of the building. It'll be interesting to see. Can you hurt me? Oh, hi. More things. Also, the little guys have, uh... God, do I have cat ears? I know that's probably supposed to, those are head, like flashlights, but I've decided that I have cat ears now and this game is now game of the year for me. Also the wind fish is here. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a shell. I guess the shells here are kind of like the, uh, the collectible, uh, come on. Wait, how do I get it? No? 
Do I have to go in from some other way? I don't think so. I don't know. Now let's just move onward. I can... I don't know if I can come back for it, but it's, uh... The other one I just had to, uh... Honk at, didn't I? I'm honking. Are they just copying me? Cute little sassy guys. Wonder if these guys are gonna be are are similar to Journey where you have the humans. Can you hurt me? You just kinda go away. Can I push you guys over there? One sec. I gotta try this. No, I don't think I can push them into the holes or anything. Oh well. Uh, yeah, let's just head up. I don't want to waste too much of your time before we get to the, uh, to the end of this first look. <laughs> I don't want to make it too long either, because that would start spoiling the game for people who want to check it out, and uh, let's just get into this next area just to see what the general conception is of, I guess, coming attractions. So we saved one area. Is this going to be another dying area, or is this going to be a living area? It looks alive. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, no, no. Well, not everything is happy. Also, that's a giant thing in my bob. And the depths. Oh. Oh, the camera zooms out, and that's beautiful. And we're kind of just going off on our own here, and that's. It's blinking. Hi. I'm a thingy. Can you let me in? Thank you. Our, our little guy just went down there. I can't follow him. wonder where he went. I guess that's the end of Area 1. And uh, I think I'll think I'll make that the end of the uh, first impression here. Goodness gracious! Um, so what can I say? The music is journey journey level music. Like that, there's <laughs> there's very few higher honors than that. Hopefully it does load the game. Um, so yeah, we have journey level music. The visuals are hard to describe. Um, the controls are very smooth. It takes a little bit to get used to, I guess. So the controls are very smooth. And uh, the gameplay seems pretty interesting. It seems some, something along, of, along the lines of interacting with and restoring the environment in some mysterious way. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to play this game through to the end. I, I doubt it's going to be a particularly long game. But, uh... As it is, it's just... Hey, guys. Excuse me. I mean, it's this. <laughs> what can you say, you know? seem to be mobilizing these uh, snappers over here. Let's get this one. I don't know why we are. But this is fun. Uh, I don't want to stop. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this has been several to before. 
with first impressions on Abzu. My first impressions, in a nutshell, buy this game if any of this seems to intrigue you. Because this just looks like happiness and wonder, and that's... I would pay... I would pay money for that. I did pay money for that. Goodness gracious, I love this so much. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. And, uh, goodbye everybody. Bye-bye.